Here we are in Callan, County Kilkenny, at the Bank of Ireland Enterprise Town. Great crowd here, and guest speaker is Mickey Hart. Mickey, it's lovely to talk to you. Good to be here, and great to see the welcome that was for me in a, in a predominantly hurling county that they welcomed a football manager. It was very nice of them to do that. Absolutely, the most successful Tyrone manager in living memory. Well, I suppose <laughs> it's, it's been good, all right. Yes, I've been lucky, yes. I've been fortunate to be around good underage teams and follow that through to senior level, and we had success, and you need the rub of the green for that to happen, and we got the rub of the green when it mattered. And, and deservedly so. Um, cousin of mine down in, in Wine Gap in Scranton, Tom Lunigan, had often talking about uh, Kilkenny footballers, but I had to mm-hmm. ta- uh, ask uh, Jim Neary, uh, he's a uh, well-known Kilkenny manager and trainer and brought teams to Croke Park successfully, uh, about footballers in the past. So South Kilkenny had a lot of successful footballers. You mightn't be aware of that, I'm not sure. Mm, no, I wouldn't have been as aware yes. of that, but I think, I suppose... You know, Tyrone's nearly a mirror image of Kilkenny the other way around. Okay. We have 48 football clubs and five hurling clubs, so yes. you know, yes. the, the hurling just doesn't get the same you know, significance in our county, I suppose, as the way it is with football down here. But that's life. And, yeah, there's, uh, very, there's not many dual counties, and the dual player of the day, his day is over, isn't that's it? That's right. It's very difficult to see a dual player making it at the, at the top level anymore. Yeah. yeah, It's gone very competitive. It takes an awful lot of... Well, energy and everything else. Yeah, it does, it does. People are very committed, that's the fact of the matter. And yeah. you know, the, only those who are totally committed will ever make it nowadays. Um, in the past, maybe extreme talent would have carried you through, but it won't anymore. A talent alone won't make the man anymore because people who don't have as much natural talent but are more than dedicated you know, will actually pass out on the talent alone. Talent alone will not work. And coming here to Callan, there's a lot of talent, a lot of skills, a lot of crafts down there in the hall. For sure, it's been a great and a great uh, exercise. The whole enterprise town affair, and credit to the Bank of Ireland for the initiative and the bank managers, the, the branch managers, and the committee that they form within each of the villages that this happens in or the areas, because it's been nothing but a total success that I've witnessed, and I've been to a lot of them last autumn from. Karen Dunna to Skibbereen and everywhere I went you just got the same atmosphere that people wanted to be there, they wanted to show what they could do, they wanted to raise the profile of their community and their local area and lots of innovative entrep- entrepreneurs in those rooms and it's good to see Absolutely and Callan has had its own share of the tough times and hard times and they're not gone yet by its entirety but uh, great to see so many people happy and doing business here. For sure. Yeah. I mean, I think it's just the energy of people who have got the initiative to create their own business opportunity. That energy actually it just expands within the room. Absolutely. Similar on the football pitch, you have to make your own way. Um... For sure. As they talk about, the sum of the holes greater than the sum of the individual parts. So, you know, even though you've lots of people doing lots of good things on their own, when they come together, there's a like people call it synergy, I suppose, nowadays. But it is, it is there. It's palpable. The energy that was in the room, or any room that I've been to where this kind of event has gone on, and because it creates the need and the opportunity for partnership and the partnership of the bank and the bank officials, their initiative, and gathering a committee around them who are prepared to work hard in the planning of these events. See, some people see an event happening and they think that it almost happened by accident, but it didn't because lots of hard work, lots of planning, lots of people given their time to make this a success. And then the reward for them is when the people of the area and the community and their local businesses come along and support them. So it's a very sort of mutual event, if you like. People set up the scene, create the opportunity for it to happen, and then the local businesses make it happen. Mickey Hart, thank you very much and lovely to talk to you. You're very welcome.